Thousands of monarch butterflies move their way through San Antonio on their way to Mexico for the winter. You may have found monarch caterpillars in your garden as a result of the females laying their eggs. So I actually found some monarch caterpillars in my garden, so mm -hmm. I decided to document my very first time raising and protecting them, so I also visited a local elementary school that's doing the same. I had been waiting for this moment for several weeks. When I knew it was close to happening, I spent all day checking my monarch butterfly enclosure and setting up my camera to make sure I didn't miss it. And that Nat Geo patience paid off. It felt like a mission accomplished. I had saved at least one of the many monarch caterpillars turned chrysalis to its final stage. But let me take you to where this organic journey all started. When I was planting milkweed in my garden in September, before I could even plant it, a monarch flew inches from my face and began laying her eggs on the milkweed leaves over and over. I watched in awe and let her do her thing. But when she left, I felt responsible to see it through that her offspring lived, knowing that monarch butterflies are a backbone pollinator to our ecosystem and food cycle. And I'm not the only one who feels compelled to protect and raise monarchs. Isabella Naya is a fifth grade teacher at NISD's Kuntz Elementary. For 12 years, she's been protecting and raising monarchs in the school's pollinator garden that she started with her after school program, Eco Friends. We're starting to also see a decline in monarchs, and that has to do with the fact of there's climate change and the fact that, you know, humans have a huge impact on that as well. It's why I kept checking my milkweed and eventually found those eggs had grown into some very hungry caterpillars. I sought advice from experts at the Texas Butterfly Festival who told me it would be best to protect the caterpillars from predators with netting. I also cut up butternut squash for them to eat when they finished the milkweed. Then one by one, about 20 chrysalis formed. We had a storm one night and I found several of them fell, which could result in them not surviving. I researched how to safely rehang them with dental floss. I had never seen a chrysalis in person or had been able to watch that transformation from Jolly Rancher green with golden lines to transparent. It made me feel like a fifth grader with innocent excitement, much like Anaya students do. It's actually kind of beautiful the way, like when a monarch's in its uh, chrysalis, it turns clear and it could, you could see it's transparent. You could see the, um, the monarch's colors and it's gorgeous. When I'm in the garden because it makes me feel so calm and relaxing. And um, it, gives, it gives us a break, a break from our devices. So I really enjoyed this little 